So I'm sure by now many people have seen the documentary Behind the Curve, which was released last year and is currently available on Netflix. In this documentary, they look at flat earthers and their beliefs, but one of the most interesting parts was an experiment conducted by flat earthers using a highly sensitive ring laser gyro. And the experiment was to determine if the earth was actually moving. And the flat earthers were hoping that the gyro would prove that there is no motion. What it did, however, was prove the opposite. It confirmed the 15 degrees per hour rotation. 15 degrees per hour is 360 degrees in 24 hours. So recently some additional footage has come to light with the same flat earther and the ring laser gyro. And as you will see here, he is talking about the gyro registering motion about three axes while it is sitting on his desk. I want you to notice carefully how he describes this motion with his hand. Now this video has been mirrored on Where's Wally's channel and I'll just play it for you now. Okay, and down here you have the very, very fine roll, pitch, and yaw. And you can see they're all moving, right? It's just sitting here, but they're all moving. Now, what everybody is most interested in is they're saying, well, you know, that 15 degree per hour rotation is picking up the roll. But, but the interesting thing about what's going on here is you have movement on both the, on all the roll, pitch, and yaw axes, and it's essentially doing this. So, and what's, what it's picking up. And the reason, you know, this is one of the reasons that I know it's either, because if it was just earth rotation, um, it wouldn't be necessarily acting like this. What, what's happening is it's... Okay, so he clearly stated it was picking up motion on three axes. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you very clearly that for a gyro located in North America on a rotating globe, that is precisely what it would register. And the way he described the motion with his hand is exactly what the gyro would be showing rotating on a globe. So I'm now going to show you a number of demonstrations using a drone flight controller, which has gyroscopes that will pick up motion in roll, pitch, and yaw. Firstly, I'm going to polar align the gyro on an equatorial mount, and you will see when it is aligned that way, that it will register motion in only one axis. However, when it is not polar aligned, when it is level to the earth at a position that is not the north or south pole, it will very correctly show motion about three axes. And what I'll be using for this demonstration is a drone flight controller that contains a three axis gyroscope and is typically used in aerobatic and racing style drones like that. I also use them in this hexacopter and on this red VTAL drone. And then you can see the flight controller is located right on the center of gravity. And that way when the drone is maneuvering, all rotation is about the flight controller. And these flight controllers are fitted with a USB port that allows you to connect them to a PC and configure various parameters with software like this, Betaflight. When I connect, you can see a number of options there, but specifically we have a visual representation of the attitude of the flight controller. It shows pitch, roll, and yaw. We also have numerical values here and a visual indication with aircraft style instruments showing the attitude of the flight controller. And here we have the flight controller now correctly polar aligned to the equatorial mount so that when we rotate the mount about the single axis, the gyro will only sense one axis of rotation. And here is the beta flight software. You can see the representation of the drone, the heading, pitch and roll indications, and also some flight instruments. So that when I use the hand controller to move the equatorial mount, we're going to see motion on one axis only. And you can see with the flight instruments, all we're seeing is change on the pitch attitude. There is no roll or yaw being indicated.
So now I have released the friction on the mount so that we can swing it by hand. And as it oscillates back and forth like that, we can see that the drone flight controller is registering motion in one axis only. You can see the pitch indication on those flight instruments, but there is no roll or yaw. And the numerical indication is showing the same thing. Massive movement about the pitch, nothing on the heading, and the roll is just 0.1 of a degree. So now I've got the flight controller mounted level, so it's no longer polar aligned on the equatorial mount. Just using a bit of plasticine and a hairband. Now as we move that equatorial mount about that single axis, you will see very clearly that the gyro will now register three different axes of motion. And that's being indicated by the flight instruments also. We're seeing roll, pitch and yaw. And again, if I loosen the mount and swing by hand, you can see very clearly we're getting three different axes of motion, roll, pitch and yaw. So the reason a gyro mounted level at a latitude that is not the north or the south pole will register three axes of motion is because it is not polar aligned. If you were to polar align it, it would register only one axis of motion. So just to help you visualize that on a globe, when we put the gyroscope in North America in a level attitude as it would be level sitting on a desk, you can see that it is not polar aligned. And if I rotate that globe, we're going to register movement in all three axes. There you can see the drone is rolling, pitching and yawing simultaneously. As I rotate the globe. So just to emphasize the point, the motion that is being registered is roll, pitch and yaw simultaneously. Have a look at the indication of the movement of that drone. Now let's compare to how the flat earther describes the motion the gyro is registering. Both the, on all the roll, pitch and yaw axes, and it's essentially doing this. That's right, it's essentially doing this. So what we have from that observation is an indication with a very sensitive gyroscope that the earth is actually rotating. Emma, show Daddy what the mount does. Good girl. Show Daddy how it moves. How does the mount move? That's right. Well done. <laughs>